Hey everybody, how's it going? So a few weeks back, we did the 15 year old bass strings versus brand new video. And yeah, the tonal difference was pretty severe. A few of the knuckle draggers thought that the old strings sounded better, but generally most people with an IQ over 35 understood that I was discussing bass tone in the context of a heavy metal production. As this show is about metal production. And I use a metal song in the example clips. What a shock. Sometimes, however, the self-evident can be lost on a number of people. Read the comments of that video and you'll see why rule number two isn't just a clever slogan, but a sad fact in the world of making music. That being said, I wanted to try an A-B test of one of the oldest tricks in my arsenal, boiling strings. I first learned about it way back in the mid 80s in Doug Mark's Metal Method guitar lessons. Now, I mentioned the idea a few years ago and how to not completely suck on bass guitar, and it was met with quite a bit of mockery. The thing is, I wasn't kidding. I've used this trick numerous times over the years and it's always worked well, but I've never actually made an AB recording to see just how much of a difference it makes. So let's take the 15 year old strings off the crust wood base and boil them. Now make sure you use a pot that you're not going to cook food in afterward. You'll see why in a minute. Fill it with water and get that water to a rolling boil before adding the strings. Now boil them for a solid 15 minutes. This should be long enough to dislodge any crud built up on the strings. Bass players, please pay attention here. Use tongs to remove your strings from the boiling water, not your hands. We wanna play bass today, not make a trip to the emergency room. Next, use a paper towel to wipe off any moisture. You'll notice that the strings cool very rapidly once they're out of the water, so they're okay to touch. We wanna make sure to dry these off completely so they don't rust. Now, let's take a look at the water and see, ugh, crumbs, balls, that's disgusting. Now let's drain the pot, ugh, look at what's left on the sides. Pure distilled bass player putrefaction. That is 15 years of dead skin cells and grime that we just boiled off the strings. Remember, that came off his hands and we don't wanna know where those hands have been. As I mentioned before, don't cook in this pot ever again. Some things just aren't worth saving after being defiled like that. All right, so let's see what happens with the tone once we put the strings back on after boiling. We're gonna shoot this out directly against the 15 year old strings before we boil them using the clip we shot a few weeks back. Okay, that's a pretty significant change, more than I thought it would be. Now, a number of you guys mentioned you like the sound of bass strings when they've been aged a few days. So let's compare the clip of the strings brand new to one week old. Again, there is a change going on, but these are just dry tracks completely unprocessed. To get the full story, we need to hear the processed tracks in and out of a mix. So to keep things equal, I've reamped four examples using the same signal path and gain settings. Watch for an updated bass recording tutorial in the near future, and I'll detail this recording technique. It's pretty cool.
Okay, so there you have it. Once again, the 15-year-old strings sound fucking terrible. Shockingly though, boiling them gave some pretty impressive results. The new strings were great and the weak old strings weren't bad either, just a slightly less attack. So I asked you guys for some feedback about what's going on with the older strings and Michael Boyens was kind enough to explain. Basically, because of normal wear, contact with the frets, buildup of skin cells, the mass of the string can change on different locations of the string, which deteriorates sound quality. Okay, seems to be a fair assessment. So what I'm learning here is to wipe down your instrument after playing. That goes for guitar as well as bass, because your strings will last longer. Just throw an old rag or a shirt into your guitar case and away you go. It also must be noted that quite a few people suggested using denatured alcohol to clean the strings. And while that's certainly a viable option, it's not exactly easy to find that stuff in Canada. Hence, I went with the boiling. Besides, if you use alcohol, you have to soak your strings for 24 hours. With the boiling method, you only need 15 minutes. I must also point out to the bass players, please don't drink the denatured alcohol because it will go very, very badly for you. Okay, I gotta say, I am very impressed that we were able to bring back so much life into the strings just by boiling them. While the new and weak old strings still have better attack, the boiled strings might work in a pinch. I wouldn't want to do a critical recording with them, but if I have no other option, they might do the trick. I can't guarantee any longevity, however, nor if the strings will keep their life past tracking one or two songs, because at the rate most bass players track, we're talking several days minimum. All right, thanks for watching, and before I go, don't forget to check out my premium mix tutorial of a track called Galactic Gypsy, featuring one of the truly great bass players of the modern age, Mr. Tony Franklin. He's joined by Matt Starr and Christian Bay, and I take you through two hours of video detailing how I created the mix, including all the multi-tracks and all of my Reaper settings. You can check it out in the description below.